In this video, we are going to show some of the ways that you can use Google Docs as a student. So in Google Drive, you can click New and then Google Docs to create a new doc. The first thing you'll probably want to do is give it a title so you don't end up with a bunch of untitled documents in your drive. Then we're gonna add some text here to our Google Doc. And along the top, you have your main menu with file. Under the file options, you can make a copy. So if you get access to a Google Doc and you want to make a copy for yourself, that's where you'll do it. Then under edit, you can cut, copy and paste. And then insert is where you can add images to your document. You can upload from your computer. You can directly search the web. You can add images from your drive or by image address, or you can open up a camera and take a picture and add that. You can also add tables, which is really helpful for Google Docs. And so you can insert those from the insert option. You can also add equations. So if you need to add in um, math equations or formulas, you can do that from the insert tab. There's also undo and redo buttons in the upper left. So we undid that table. Then you can zoom in and out with the 100% uh, section. You can change the font for um, and the size for the text in your Google Doc. You can also highlight any text and make it bold, italics or underline. You can change the color. You can also add clickable links to your Google Doc by highlighting a word or phrase that you want to be clickable and use the insert link button. It looks like a little chain link along the top. Then copy and paste your link in the right spot and click apply. Then your word becomes blue with an underline and it will be clickable and it'll open that link in a new tab. There are some other options along the top menu. You can change the alignment from left to center to right. You can also add a bullet point list or a number list. Then there is the option to add comments to a Google Doc. And this can be really helpful if you are collaborating or peer editing. You can highlight any word or section of a doc and then use the add comment button that looks like a plus sign in a word bubble. Then just type in your comment, suggestion, editing over on the right in the comment, click on the blue comment button and it's saved in the document. If you have a comment from a classmate or a teacher, you can um, do those edits and then click the check mark to resolve the comment. In the lower right corner is the explore feature. This is really helpful for research. When you click on it, it will bring up topics that have to do with what you're writing about. We'll click on Google Docs and that will bring up web results. You can click on any of these to open them up to read about them. You can also cite them as a footnote by clicking on that button in the upper right that looks like quotations. And wherever you are clicked in your Google Doc, that is where it will put the footnote. You can also add images automatically into your document. So if you click on images and then hover over them and click the plus sign, it will insert that image again, wherever you are clicked on in your document. We can also go over and click on tools and you'll see you can check your word count. You can insert citations from here as well. So you can change your citation source. You can type in for a book or a website. And so all you have to do is type in the information and it will create the citation for you. Same with journal article, you choose where you accessed it. So from an online database, you type in the information about that article and it will make your citation for you. So that's a really nice tool. There's other options here as well. You can do um, translation and voice typing. Um, so those are all under tools to check out. Then when you're ready, you can click the share document. You can type in people to share, to collaborate with, and you can also change down below if you need to use a shareable link. You'll want to make sure that it's either set to our school district or anyone with the link to make sure that people have access to your document. And those are some of the ways that you can use Google Docs as a student.